Hey there, it's uh, Jeffrey Douglas, SD Rover, and today I wanted to do a short overview on a piece of kit that I keep in my glove box, and it gives me peace of mind if I'm way back off road somewhere, a check engine light comes on, that I'll be able to read the code and kind of identify if it's something I need to tow the vehicle out or whether I can go ahead and drive it out. And that is the IID gap tool. I purchased this tool with my own money and I have uh, version 3, the Bluetooth, and not the Pro version because the Pro version is very expensive. It's really for a shop. Um, this is tied to my VIN number. So to take a little bit of a look at it, uh, one thing I really like about it um, compared to some of the other diagnostic tools, it's very small. It relies on your smartphone or your iPad for a display. It connects with Bluetooth, so it doesn't take up a lot of space. Some of the other readers are, are pretty big, made more for a shop. So again, like I mentioned, this is the Generation 3. They actually have a Generation 4 now. And um, it's probably one of the best diagnostic tools for Land Rover. Some of the other ones are more generic and they won't give you as much detail perhaps as the IID tool well. So I thought this chart, uh, functions categorized by objectives, is really helpful to kind of understand the IID tool. And uh, first you have diagnostics, which are faults. You can read both, you can both read those and clear them, and you can also advance read them. Live values, which we'll cover a little bit later in the video, which is surveillance, so you can monitor a certain uh, oil temperature or something of that nature. And then control in, out, outputs. Uh, next is convenience, which is height control. Third is personalization, such as height, height modification for the air suspension and car configuration. So for instance, if you wanted to change over the compressor, from one make to the other. Uh, repair process, which is calibrations and service routines. So if you want to reset after you've done an oil change or something. And administer ECU, which is ECU, which is ECU information, save and restore, and ECU update and reflash. So here's a view of my iPad and uh, you can see that the uh, tool is now reading for faults. It uh, scans all the ECUs that have faults. And then on the right-hand side, it'll pull them up. Notice below you have the ability to clear all. Uh, do want to note that clearing a fault doesn't solve the problem. It just clears the fault. So you'll, you'd want to fix whatever is causing the fault and then come back and run this again to make sure the fault goes away. No surprise here, I have a lot of uh, faults because I removed the parking sensors when I installed the Tactical Rover front and rear bumper. This is a height adjustment, and here you have the default setting and three settings that you can customize if you'd like. Here is the height control. This kind of mimics the uh, switching on the dashboard or on the uh, control. Calibration, this is where you can calibrate things like suspension, uh, steering angle, things of that nature. Here's one I really like, which is Live Tools. And what Live Tools does is it allows you to monitor different functions, temperatures, and things on the vehicle. You can choose what those are, and you can set favorite lists and everything. So here I've got engine speed, sump oil temperature, ambient air temperature, and I'm going to add in the compressor temperature. If you'll notice the little arrows that go out, if you hit that arrow, that will open that up and make it much easier to see. This is not to be used while you're running the vehicle. This is to be used 
when you're doing some diagnostic. If you have a suspicion something's going on, you can go look at what the metrics are on that to see what's going on. Car configuration, um, this would be things like resetting the uh, compressor. Uh, I think you can do rekeys, so if you want a new key. Finally, we have the manual, so if you want to download the manual, it's available in the app as well. I download that separately into a Google Drive. It's available offline. So I hope you found this useful. I really like this tool. I've had it for a number of years. It's come in handy a number of times. Uh, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. I'll probably do a few other deeper dive videos on this uh, in, the, in the future, so stay tuned. And uh, remember, get outside.